Hey, what's up everybody? Will here from Will Brown Art. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is gonna be awesome, spectacular, and amazing, so keep watching here. We are at Tiger Mountain in Washington today, and this is a cool little spot I've been coming from time to time and just checking out. There's a lot of interesting stones. Really a cool place to come if you're into mountain biking. Tons of trails that go all through here. And today we're gonna to be just going on a little bit of adventure um, off trail or following this uh, creek that we're standing in right now and looking for interesting rock stones minerals and seeing what we can find I'm always trying to map out new areas go where other people don't go and explore and bring the best content to you So please hit that hit that subscribe button right now. I would deeply appreciate that and let's go Check it out a Little chunk of petrified wood right here It's nice Ooh, such a beautiful day though, you guys out here. Forest canopies are kind of diffusing the light a little bit, but it is nice. I'm hoping to get up here a little bit further where I can uh, get a little bit more light coming through. It's a really thick forest out here. And get up in these mountains a little higher in elevation. A lot of beautiful ferns and all kinds of foliage but I want to find some good stuff out here so let's keep going this devil's club is all over the place this right here be careful not to grab a hold of that look how tall it is can me can you actually see there's a little bit of a flower it's starting to flower I believe it's called devil's club if it's not, it should be. Cause it's like shaking hands with the devil. It's all spiky. See the little millipede? Come on, friend. Come on, buddy. See him? Observe his life. All right, you guys, so I'm not gonna dig this out anymore. I just wanted to show you. I wanna investigate this because you can see a lot of the quartz here and some interesting looking tinge and color to it. And I wanted to see how deep it goes and how much it wrapped around this. It looks like it's just the top of this host rock and see kind of what was in it. But this thing is planted in there. I don't want to get my tools out. I don't have to get that out anymore. Just wanted to take a look at that. It's pretty nice though. I like that. All right. Wow, you guys, I just want to give you a shot of this real quick because you have all these little maple trees sitting in this patch of ferns and all this foliage and kind of in a little open area where the light is shining down and just shooting through the leaves and causing it to almost glow as the river runs right underneath. Really just a beautiful area. All these ferns coming up, curled over like that. Really nice, huh? Oh, look at this. Found a shovel. 
as these bikers go cruising by me. Looks fun. An old shovel abandoned to rust away. When I come back through here, I should grab that. Check this piece out, you guys, as far as the sculpture goes. I don't know, I just, the look of it, to me, is just so worthy of polishing and bringing out its natural colors and shapes. I mean, it's very just unique. Man, you guys, I can't get over some of the beautiful plants that are out here. I'm a huge fan of plants as well. I don't know the name of this one, so if anybody knows it, please comment in the comments below. Let everybody else know. But, I mean, look at this thing. It's got these beautiful, like, white flowers dangling down. And just, like, really delicate uh, leaves. I mean, just right next to, like, this guy. Really cool. And then this ground cover that's just all over here these little just like beautiful flowers you know really nice and then like a thick moss some fern sticking out and a Powerade I think that is a Gatorade bottle for the most part that sucks ruined my shot <laughs> oh man Tiger Mountain Washington oh here comes a biker too comes two of them. Nice. Oh, there's a dog running behind him. Love it. This is a perfect time to walk through here too because these ferns are so young. If you look at them, when they're fully mature, they're sticking up and they're, you know, you've really got to push through all this brush, but right now they're just little little pockets like this which make it really beautiful and nice to look at but it's easy to maneuver through without having to push through a lot of shrubbery wow i think i see a big burrow on this tree see on that tree big round burrow those things. Those things can be really cool. I believe that what it is is some kind of beetle or bug. Once again, correct me in the comments below, but I believe what it is is a beetle and bug that infests in the tree and then pushes it out and makes it into this big burrow. And if you find these like on maple, black walnut, that kind of stuff, like the higher end types of woods, wood, um, people cut them down and they sell them for thousands of dollars and make all kinds of beautiful sculptures and high-end tabletops and all kinds of stuff out of them. Really cool. So I'm always looking at, at these out in the woods and just admiring them. Pretty fun. You gotta be careful doing this kind of stuff though. It's only like a 10 foot drop down to the creek in this area, so it's not it's not horrible, but it's still fun. Something that's nice to do is these giant fallen trees uproot the root system, which holds all kinds of rocks inside of it. So when I'm inside these rich forests where I'm looking for different rocks and minerals and treasure, I, uh, I will go to the streams or I'll come and check out these areas because it doesn't have a thick layer, you know, a foot to three feet of all kinds of foliage and fallen plant matter. It's decomposing and dirt, fresh, nice dirt. 
um, that from all the trees and just the natural cycle of things um, producing that thick layer that I have to dig through and I can just come through and pick pick through and look around at what's going on sometimes you can find some neat stuff because it just exposes it to you uproots everything and pulls all these rocks out and everything that was buried underneath that tree Beautiful stone, huh? Nothing that catches my eye. Beautiful, huh? I like him. I think I'll keep that one. Cool. All right, guys, we got away from that creek and we're just headed up this road right now. We're gonna explore up here. I haven't been up here too much, but I'm pretty sure there's some amazing stuff to find. So let's see what we can find. It is so beautiful up here. Look at these trees behind me. Ah, oh, it's extraordinary. Tiger Mountain, Washington. Beautiful area. Worth coming and checking out for sure. It's a good time to take a moment to ask you guys if you would subscribe. A lot more adventures. All kinds of art, all kinds of videos coming out. Love for you to join my little family on YouTube as we push forward. Maybe put a comment below, hit that like button. That kind of stuff helps me out. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna keep going here. I'm getting pretty high up this mountain. I'm excited to find something new. Been walking for a long time now, guys. I'm trying to decide Where's a good area to kind of venture off and maybe find a little spot to take off my boots and get out some of my food and refuel and drink some water and maybe do a little hunting in that area. So I'm kind of just poking around at this point. There's just too much to see out here, honestly. It's such a vast area. Tons of roads and forest and 
trails and creeks and adventures that there's a lot to see. We might have to do a few videos of exploring this area. <sighs> Figure out where the best stuff is at. <sighs> Still climbing. Okay, as you can see, this is a very steep, uh, slippery rock face to get up. It's that rock right there that's all wet. And you just have some pine needles over it. So I'm not gonna climb up this and then come back down to get the camera. I'm just gonna take you guys with me because I'm exhausted. And I think I'm gonna go this way. hard to do that with one hand and a backpack full of water and food and tools. Like I said, the last couple days I've been, me and my family have been really sick. Pretty fighting the flu. This makes your body weak and tired and ache. So I decided to get out here and to force my body to uh, overcome some spider webs in my face. It's good for me. But from here on out, you guys, I got about half battery and I don't have an extra battery charged with me. So I'm gonna explore for a while, walk for a while. If I find anything worth showing you, I'm showing you, all right? Let's keep going. guys got my boots off I'm just gonna walk around as long as I stay in this type of terrain with the more soft ground got some sticks pine needles that kind of stuff but I'm just gonna walk around with my boots off at this point explore it's one of my favorite things to do got some leftover breakfast in here just gonna relax Take it all in. Been out here for a long time, just exploring. Messing around that creek a little bit. A lot to see out here, real beautiful. Whew. Now 
out here on top of this top of this little mountain top area walking amongst these tiny little saplings little baby trees pretty damn beautiful getting to the end of my battery on this camera you know make sure I pick up another one for these adventures you guys I think this is a perfect place just to thank all my viewers, all you guys, you guys are extraordinary, you're amazing. All my Patreons, you guys, awesome. Thank you so much. And also to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Crystal Spirit in Tacoma, Washington. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring my YouTube channel and helping make all of these videos possible. If you guys would like to check out Crystal Spirit, it's like a rock shop with all kinds of rocks. Ooh, I'm out of breath. All kinds of rocks and minerals and crystals and, and so much more. There's gonna be a link in the description below and you're more than welcome to ch uh, check that out. Also a link to my Patreon account and a link to my children's books. I'm a children's book author and I got so many more books coming out and I'm so excited to share them with the world. So if you know some kids or uh, would just love to check out and support my channel, Feel free to click on that link below and check out my books as well. A lot more amazing content to come. Really beautiful area we're standing right now. Just amazing on top of this mountain. The light shining through. It's extraordinary, you guys. So I'm going to keep... Whew, i got to catch my breath here, but I'm going to keep pushing through and uh, see what else I can find before the day's up. i got to head back soon because I am losing light and got a few hours of light. I think I need to kind of check it out here. I believe it's about two and a half hours or so of light going down right here. Yeah, about that. Um, but I got to make sure that I get myself out of here safely as well. So sooner or later, I'm going to start heading out of here. But let's see what else we can find today. Let's go. Check this out, guys. I was digging around and I happened upon a little salamander. Look at this little guy. Oh, there he goes. Look at his back. It's a cool little guy, huh? There he goes. Burrowing away. Love finding stuff like that. that crazy wildlife. Nothing special here. Gotta redirect myself back to the main path area so I don't get lost out here. Okay. But one thing you always do is you stay calm, no matter what. Even if I've been lost a few times, especially growing up as a youth, spending a lot of times in the wood. And you always, you always stay calm. As soon as you start to panic, that's when you're in trouble. You can't think, you move too quick, you make foolish decisions, you waste all your energy, you miss clues. Everything becomes foggy. <sighs> Sticker bush got me. So you stay calm. You breathe. You focus. Try to identify way back if you can to where you originally were try to identify south north east west by looking at the sun and if worse comes to worse and there's no way 
of figuring it out. No one knows you're out there. No one's coming for you. You need to stay really calm. And it depends on what kind of terrain you're in. Is it mountainous? If it is, you know that it's a lot more warm, lower elevation, higher elevation will be more cold. That's why you see all the snow on the top of the mountains, but not down in the valleys. So if you end up having to spend the night, you're lost. You want to head down in elevation. slowly and safely not to get turned around any more than you already are and uh, follow a stream oh look at this burrow see that it's beautiful Streams are like highways, bigger rivers, and the civilization, usually. Okay. And that's all I'll go into with that. But just remember to stay calm because it's an ugly feeling. I remember when I was about, I think 13 or so, I got really turned around. It was getting cold. It's me and my big brother, Joe. Rest in peace, Joe. And he calmed me down when I felt that panic because it was getting cold. There was cougars and bears out where we were at. We were super far away and I was exhausted. Turned a rip way, or turned around, and I began to panic. Bad, bad to do. I sat down and I was like, I'm just gonna stay here. Kind of gave up. Never give up. And keep your wits. We've made it out. My big brother was a great big brother. I missed that guy. Here we go. I know where I'm at. I usually always have a general sense of exactly where I'm at. Sometimes I get turned around a little bit. Stay calm. Don't rush myself. Don't twist my ankle. Don't break my leg. Panicking. figure it all out and move forward. So I'm gonna start heading back to the car guys. Thanks so much for watching my YouTube channel. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the links in the description below. Special thanks to my sponsor, Crystal Spirit, Tacoma, Washington. If you like rocks, minerals, crystals, and more, they got it. There's a link to their website in the description below. Huge thanks to all my Patreons once again. You guys are amazing. And thank you everybody who loves and supports Will Brown Art. And uh, link to my children's book below as well. The children's books and the links in the description below. Um, I love creating children's books and being an artist and making these videos for you guys and traveling and sculpting and it's just wonderful. Look, look at this. Beautiful, huh? So much more to come, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.